Hello, my name is Wade Namura. I'm the mayor of the city of Carpinteria. I want to share with you one of the most recent experiences I had as mayor, and that was the parade that happened, a protest parade on June 6th of this, uh, this last week. It was a protest march that was organized by the high school students and uh, endorsed by Black Lives Matter. I was a participant in that one mainly because I believe heavily in the um, ideals that it represented but also because it was presented and organized by the high school students of Carpenter High School. So I want to tell you a little bit about how this started real quick. So I wanted to endorse them because of the fact that no at that age, um, what they've done, what they were able to organize was amazing. And it's uh, quite a relief to know that in the future we have generations like this willing to step forward out of their comfort zone to make a difference for this world and to create more equality for all people. The pandemic has brought more people together to look at and understand what's happening in current events. The media, uh, all of that, everything has made this world a lot smaller. Personally, like me, like being cooped up inside right now, it makes you think a lot more about like your life and like things that are happening. I think it's like good because it does need to change. The pandemic is a sickness of the body. And the systemic racism and oppression is a problem with our our attitudes and our emotions that we can work on just like we can get better from being ill. It's very important for America to wake up. We need to wake up and take down the system that is racist and killing these people. Why are you here? I'm here because we need change and we need it now. Why are you here? I think in Carpinteria it's easy to ignore systemic national issues because it's such an insular small community so it brings me joy to see a lot of people out here and I hope that we can create actionable items to help Carpinteria and Santa Barbara be a more equitable place for all people. Like what type of actionable items? Actionable items like examining current like police de-escalation, funding police compared to other things like reinvesting in our communities, education, um, and above all, examining if our policies are creating disparities as a result of simply the policy itself. I'm so excited to see so many young people. I think I'm the oldest person here, so that maybe second to oldest. Yeah, I, I'm in there somewhere. <laughs> I got you I'm, all beat. Guys. I'm very, in, very encouraged. Carpinteria as a whole is very safe, but we need tourism to build up our economy. Uh, that's a fact. That's just the way it is. And in order to do that, we have to have them included in a plan. We are making sure of doing this by putting signage out on the streets, by making changes, by making the city itself, uh, especially downtown, look different. And this is one of those areas that will help us a lot. And some of the specifics are restaurants that tourists use, they're set up to be more social isolation, correct? That is correct. Uh, we put in place uh, now where there's permits going out where we could have restaurants spill out onto the sidewalks, onto the public right-of-ways uh, through licensing. And what this will do then is it'll so allow the restaurants and businesses to have that isolation, um, six feet of separation, and also allow them to be able to kind of, I would say, support the same amount of clientele they had previously, or as close to it as possible, by us giving them more public right of way in the city, um, sidewalks, and in the streets. We also have great cooperation from the Sheriff's Department and law enforcement because they have actually doubled up their patrol to help us out to make sure that um, the separation orders are fulfilled. Uh, I think awareness right now is a uh, the number one key, communications has to do with everything, especially in these tough times. So I okay. appreciate the work you're doing. Thank okay. you. Well, thank you and keep up the good work. Okay, great. Thank you, Larry. See ya.